From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. Hi everyone, I'm Kara Sundlin and we're following the latest on COVID-19 cases among students in our state. Schools and districts are now dealing with these cases in their own way. Confirmed cases are reported in Summers, East Hartford, Waterbury, West Haven, Bridgeport, Wallingford, Hartford, Westbrook and Killingly. Most of the impacted schools are shut down today. In Wallingford, in-person classes at Hammersholt Middle have been canceled after a member of the campus community there tested positive for COVID-19. Parents were alerted that their children will shift to their online learning programs until at least Wednesday. Three other schools have been shut down across the state because of recent COVID-19 infections hitting students or staff members. Killingly High School, Westbrook High School and the Tillsdale School in Bridgeport will all be closed today and in-person classes canceled after positive tests. Westbrook High School will not reopen until at least Thursday. Administrators at Killingly High School and the Tisdale School hope to reopen tomorrow. But in Hartford and Waterbury, school leaders are handling recent infections in a different way. Chase Elementary in Waterbury and Weaver High School in Hartford will remain open even though students just tested positive for COVID-19. School leaders say their contact tracing programs allow them to quarantine students who came in close contact with the infected individuals while allowing the remainder of students to stay in school. Administrators do ask that if your child is showing any possible COVID-19 symptoms to not send them to school until they get tested. All right, and weather-wise, this afternoon, as the humidity drops behind a cold front, dew point values going from the 50s into the 40s, we'll see an increasing amount of sunshine with temperatures topping out between 75 and 80, several degrees above average. We're looking for a clear sky tonight and ample, of, uh, ample amount of sunshine for our Tuesday tomorrow. So speaking of tomorrow, we'll start the day with temperatures in the low and mid 40s inland, so some may argue a chilly start, unseasonably cool inland, upper 40s, close to 50 along the shoreline. Then tomorrow afternoon, we may not make it above the 70 degree mark, and then mid 70s on Wednesday, upper 70s on Thursday. Our only chance for rain over the next seven days comes Thursday night, early Friday. Then for the upcoming weekend, cool but dry highs in the 60s. Eyewitness News is everywhere. Get the latest in-depth headlines anytime on the Channel 3 streaming news app.